Today we're in uh, southern Arizona with my friend Peter Yost Good from down. Building Green um, in southern Vermont, coincidentally, and we're going to look at what's right and what's wrong with this house. Um, it's a Meritage Homes subdivision, and we're sneaking on, and they don't know, but we did find a couple of hard hats so that if they, so we look important if they see if they catch us. Um, <laughs> I'm guessing being here in southern Arizona, we're in the middle of the desert, so there's probably not that many water management details we have to worry about here. So we're gonna be looking for something else here. Yeah, it's kind of funny, but even out here in the middle of the desert, our problem is bulk water. Bulk water, uh, bulk water is uh, liquid water on the outside in terms of irrigation spray heads, but also inside the shower. You know, a shower is equivalent to like 100 inches of rain a year in terms of people, you know, letting water run off the walls and into the drains. So you gotta have this area set up. In, in this area of the country, the two places they have moisture claims or problems are spray irrigation heads and not the proper detailing for bulk water drainage and showers and baths. Okay, so it looks like we've got a good start here with some uh, fiberglass matted drywall, you know, so that's gonna be better than the green board, the MR drywall. Uh, we don't know exactly what's going to go up next, but we suspect it's going to be some sort of a membrane. And you know, they'll be either do a membrane or maybe a spray applied fluid membrane that transitions from the inside of the wet area to the outside. Okay, so the water problems aren't going to be the biggest problem for home builders here in the southern Arizona desert. It's more going to be delivering cool air to the hot rooms, which I can tell this is a hot room already, and air barrier details. Is that? Yeah, you know. High performance in this area of the country is going to be um, still working against thermal bridging, okay. but having a really good air barrier, it's interesting, that's the one thing that regardless of climate, you know, you want to have a really good continuous air barrier, and uh, Meritage Homes has two interesting parts to that. Okay, so we were, let's, let's go outside and have a look. So here we've got exterior foam, it looks like if, it's, if this house is going to be like all the rest of the houses, it is going to be stucco. Exactly. I think it's a safe bet. Absolutely. And so, you know, they've got um, one inch of XBS uh, wrapping the whole house, so that takes care of thermal bridging at the studs. And, um, of course, they have shear panels, so they just go from a one inch thickness, you know, this is a one inch thickness of EPS board here. They'll go down to a half inch on the corners yeah, where they would have... This is a half inch. Exactly, yeah, where there's a, a OSB structural sheathing for the shear resistance of the home, strategically placed. And then you can see what's going to happen here is that the stucco is going to get applied all the way up the face of the wall. It's going to seal around every single penetration and bump out at the windowsills. And that's going to complete the exterior air barrier transition from the wall to the, to the uh, uh, conditioned attic. Everybody says, well, do you want an air barrier on the inside or the outside? And the answer is yes, yes right? best to have it in both places and um, you know especially since they've pulled all of their they've pulled all of their uh, ductwork and mechanicals into condition space by having the insulation at the actual roof line yeah you know you've got a, a really good continuous air barrier and all of your mechanicals are inside the same space as the people so um, it's the way to do it okay Pete so before we go awarding big fat attaboys to these guys for everything we wanted to come and check and make sure that there's not a lot of bulk water, exterior water problems. Uh, looks like, so we came to a finished house. Sure. It looks like the irrigation system, it, I mean, it seems to be laid out like a drip system, seems to be have a head at each plant. They're providing the bulk water right where it's needed, right at the plant. Each one has its own head. So they're clearly doing efficient irrigation that's not going to inadvertently soak our walls day after day after day. And it's going to save water in the process. Absolutely. Okay, so we're going to give a big fat attaboy or two or three to the folks here at Meritage Homes for getting a lot of the details right. They are not watering down their high performance. They're not watering down. <laughs> okay, so that wraps it up for this episode of Mystery Inspectors. And until next time, be aware, be very, very aware, because we might come to a job site to look for us.